to use either the instrumentation of the occultic or the instrumentation of the Holy Ghost to seize, hijack, or capture a particular year. Truth of the matter is that before we, we did 31st night service, way before December 31st, somewhere in August, in the world of the occultics and in the satanic world, they had already hijacked the coming year. And so when we entered September, October, November, they had already made the legislations and they had already decided on what 2021 will look like. And of course, the Bible says all good and pleasant did come out from above, and the opposite also come out from the pit of hell. Now, I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, for you to hijack 2021, you don't just cross over or you don't just wait till, till time catches up on you. Time catches up on you. You have to be intentional about hijacking 2021. You have to be intentional about hijacking 2021. Uh, and I believe strongly that within this one hour, something in I don't know if I'm talking to living people Amen. on this call at all. Amen. You have to be in, intentional. Let me tell you something. Um, you, need, you need four things to be able to cross over, four things. Number one, you need the prophetic wings to cross over. You need a prophetic wing to cross over. And so um, if you don't have a prophet in your life, then um, understand, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, to your disadvantage. The Bible said, by a prophet, God delivered or God brought out Israel. And by a prophet, he preserved them. So it is the instrumentation of the prophetic that enables a person to cross to the other side. You have to understand, guys, the prophetic is an important tool. The prophetic, ladies and gentlemen, is actually the, the instrumentation that is able to hijack the entire year. You can practically colonize every, every month of the year, every week of the year, every day of the year through the auspices of the prophetic. And in this one hour, you are going to make a determination. Are you still here at all? Yes. Yes, prophet. Yes, we are. You, you are going to make a determination. Let me sound a disclaimer. I value all the five-fold ministry. I value the teaching ministry. I value the apostolic. I value the pastoral. I value the evangelistic. But understand that every one of these ministry gifts uh, has a role that God has mandated it to play. And with the prophetic, understand, the prophetic is the grand wind or is the majestic wind on which people have their, their stress-free crossovers. If a man doesn't cross over by the prophetic, the man is at best crossing by wishes and hopings. Hear this? You need more than wishes to hijack a year. To wish somebody happy new year is a wish. But this year, ladies and gentlemen, last year we did the same. When we crossed over, we said to many people, Happy New Year. But I'm telling you, 2020, people lost their jobs. So you can't say it was a happy year for them. So you need more than wishes. You need the majestic flight of a prophet. And I am deeply excited and humbled and opportuned to spread my wings and, makes my, and make my wings available to you so that on this majestic wing we will hijack this year. Can I prophesy? Anyone yes. that represented here on this call, I mm. issue a prophetic incursion mm. over your life that as yes. you have witnessed the beginning of this year, you shall mm. see a glorious end this year. Amen. In the name Amen. of the Lord Jesus, I yes. make a determination yes. that because God caused you to see this year, you shall mm. see the end gloriously. And if yes. you Amen. shout amen, carry yes, this prophecy yes. now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
Let me show you a quick scripture. I feel an anointing so strong. Somebody shout the wings of the prophetic. The, the wings, wings, of, wings of, the prophetic. of the prophetic. Now, I want you to just look at something quickly. In the book of Job, in chapter number 38, Job 38, Job 38, verse, verse 12 and 13. Job chapter number 38, verse 12 and verse 13. Kathy, are you back from your, from your vacation? Awesome. So would you do me the honors and project it if you can? Job and chapter number 38, verse 12 and 13. Something incredible is about to happen. And if you don't have your oil, get your oils ready, get your honey ready, and get your communion wine ready. All right. Now, God is having a very deep discourse with Job, and he's asking very powerful questions. Some of them are deep and rhetorical. He asked Job in the book of Job and 38 and verse number 12, he said, has thou commanded the morning since thy days? Understand that the elements and the days and the nights that God made, he made them for us to command. I say it again. He made them for us to command. Check your Bible carefully. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. The Bible said that he made light. Uh, and then he says, let it be, of, let, it, let the light be for times and for seasons. That means that day and night, morning and evening have been made to succumb to your command. Listen, you have no excuse uh, to complain and you have no excuse to mama about how the year is turning out if you have not first commanded the year. And that is why I need you to be super spiritual today that in the in the eyes of faith you are going to command the year and the year will deliver its promises to you did you shout amen or i just heard myself amen. Let your voice shout amen. Like amen. Amen. i believe oh, if you if if you don't believe that just 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 stitch just stitch your lips together but for those of us who believe we will shout it we believe we believe we believe we believe we believe we believe Leave. So he says, have you commanded the morning question? Have you commanded 2021? Have you commanded it? Have you commanded it? Because 2021 is pregnant with your money, is pregnant with your opportunities, is, is pregnant with your open doors, is pregnant with your opulent graces, is pregnant with your destiny helpers. Question, have you commanded it? And that is why we are excited today that within this one hour, we are going to issue a command and a decree and by that command our eyes will see our expectation our hands will handle our expectation our legs will enter our expectation 2021 some of you will build your houses and you will complete Amen. it 2021 hallelujah. some of you will hallelujah. travel outside the country and you will Amen. see it 2021 this finger of yours will have a wedding ring be put, be put on. Somebody shout, I believe. I believe. Am I helping somebody here today? Yes, sir. So, so listen, let me, let me be very categorical. If your pastor led you to cross over, he did his best in his, he did his best in his capacity. He did his best in his capacity. But you need more than a pastor to cross over. You need a prophetic wing to cross over. Am I talking to somebody here? He says, yes. Has thou commanded the morning since thy days? Then he says, And caused the day spring to know its place. Verse 13 says, That it may take hold the ends of the earth. Let me, let, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You can sit in the comfort of your home. But under the revelation of the word of God, you can exert influence over the four corners of the earth. He said that at your command, you are able to take hold the ends of the earth. At your command. At your command. 
you are able to take hold the ends of the earth at your command. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. Watch this now. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. So he's literally saying that when you command your year, when you command your morning, understand you have the ability and the capacity to shake the wicked out of the, of, of the year. You have the ability to shake the wicked out of the year. Oh, I don't know who I came for today, but every wickedness, that Satan has projected over your life. Every wickedness that Satan has hatched in satanic incubators and wombs concerning this year, concerning your destiny, concerning yes. your finances, concerning yes. your ministry, yes. by yes. the power of the prophetic, yes. I shake it out. Yes. Somebody Amen. type, somebody Amen. type, Amen. I shake it out. I Say, I shake it out. 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 Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So it is imperative for you to understand the technology of crossing over. I tell people crossover is not preaching. Crossover is a determination. You make prophetic decrees. And when you make prophetic decrees, you see manifestations. Oh, there is one person on this call. The Lord just told me to announce to you, your breakthrough time is due. I don't know Amen. who that person is, I but the Lord it. just told me, he says, announce to Amen. that person his breakthrough, her breakthrough Amen. time is due. Amen. Somebody Amen. shout my breakthrough time. My, my breakthrough, breakthrough time. time. Oh, shall he say my breakthrough time? My, my breakthrough, breakthrough time. time. Hallelujah. Let me show you a quick scripture Amen. and then we'll begin to pray. Exodus and chapter 19, verse 14. Exodus chapter number 19 and verse number 4. Exodus 19, verse 4. Exodus 19, verse 4. Exodus 19, verse number 4. Oh, glory to God. I sense a move. I sense a move. Exodus 19, verse number 4. It's... Exodus 19 verse 4 is on the screen now. He says, God speaking to Moses, he said, and, and to the children of Israel, he says to them, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians. Then he says, how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Guys, did you just see that? God is telling them that I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. But when you study the narratives of the, of, of the exodus of the children of Israel, you will understand that it was Moses that led them out of Egypt. However, in the realm of the spirit, Moses was the majestic flight or the eagle's flight that the children of Israel bore on to cross over from Egypt into Canaan. And here is your pro 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 prophetic word. I make a determination and I make a decree that because you connected today, we Amen. cross you over to 2021 Amen. without Amen. any carryover. You Amen. without any carryover, Amen. without sicknesses, Amen. without Amen. shame, without diseases, Amen. without disappointment, Amen. without casualties. In the name yes. of Jesus, Amen. I make a decree that no carryovers, no carryovers, no carryovers, no carryovers, no, somebody type no excess luggage, no excess luggage, no excess luggage, no excess luggage in the name of Jesus. No excess luggage. No excess luggage. You have crossover without any carryover. Listen, guys, in the next 15 minutes, we are going to pray nonstop. And, I, and you are going to listen carefully to the prophetic prayer point. You are going to listen carefully to the prophetic prayer point, and you are going to pray like you are crazy. Deuteronomy and chapter number 33, verse 23 and 24 is my emphasis. Deuteronomy and chapter number 33. Verse number 23 and 24. Roxanne Grant. Roxanne, the Lord says, I should tell you to get ready. 
in the month of January, he is going to visit you. And the job you are looking for, you are going to have it in January. In Jesus' name. You are going to have it in January. And it will be something that will soothe your heart and gladden your heart. The Amen. Lord says, I shall announce that to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Deuteronomy and chapter number 33, verse 23 to 24 is on the screen. He says, Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the south. Then he goes on to say, and of Asher, he says, and of Asher, he says, let it be favored by his brethren and let him dip his foot in oil. We are going to lift up a voice and we are going to declare this prayer point. He said, oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor mm -hmm. and full of the blessing. Wherever you see Naphtali, you are going to put your name there. You are going to say, oh, Prophet Dominic, okay. satisfied with favor, full of the blessing. I issue a decree that in 2021, I am satisfied with favor and I'm the full of the blessing and I possess the south and I possess the west in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice. Unmute your
Listen, I want you to make, to make I want you to I want you to be busy with the type your name type satisfied with this type your name type your name and type satisfied with you satisfied with favor satisfied with favor satisfied with favor let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen we downplay on the efficacy of favor sometimes we preach it and we get people excited but very few people have actually tapped into the deep recesses of what favor really stands for listen favor is the fragrance of heaven that beautifies a man psalm 90 verse 17 he says let the beauty of the lord our god be upon us and establish the work of our hands favor is also called the beauty of the lord god favor it's also called the beauty of the lord let me tell you something it is written concerning jesus the boy jesus grew in favor and when that happens the bible said when wise men came to behold the the king that he was born in the manger they didn't come empty they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with men here it is they came bearing their gift why it is the favor on jesus that compels them to come and give him gift here it is 2021 it will be the delight of people to give to you amen you will not need to beg you will not need to lobby it will be their desire Amen. to place a longing a compelling influence on them and they will give to you cheerfully and they will give to you wholeheartedly and they will give to you delightfully somebody shall favor 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 oh you you better understand this and of Naphtali, he said, Oh, Naphtali, satisfied with favor. Then he said, Listen, when a man is satisfied with favor, favor escorts him to the next realm. And that next realm is full of the blessing. Listen, you have heard people tell you you are blessed. You have heard people salute you to say, God bless you. But in 2021, you will be full of the blessing. That means Amen. that every department of your life will be influenced by the blessing. The literal rendition of the blessing means empowerment. That means that in every facet of your life in 2021, you shall be empowered. Now, empowerment is what 
answers to the question of being victimized. 2020, many of you were victimized. You were victimized at your workplace, victimized by diseases, victimized by colleagues, victimized by the jealous nature of others. But in 2021, say yet the spirit of the Lord, you have been empowered. That means you are no more empowered victim in the name of the Lord Jesus. I elevate you to the dimensions and to the crescendos of being empowered. Amen. I'm empowered. empowered. Listen, when you are empowered, you walk like a victor. Amen. When you are empowered, you walk like a champion. Yes. Amen. When you are empowered, you are celebrated. Listen, empowerment Mm. is what promotes a person's rank in destiny. I am pretty sure by now Mm. you know that not Mm. all, we are not all the same. I'm sure by now you know that all human beings are not the same. Men are, men come and sizes. Men come in classes and sizes. Some, some, some will come and there will be no vacancy for them. Others will create, they will create vacancy for. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it is, it is not your color. It is not the, 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 the color of the blood running through your veins. It is what is on you. And I prophesy to 42 of you on this call that may you be in May you be empowered. Amen. 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 May you be empowered. Amen. 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 May you be empowered. May you be empowered. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Listen, your Bible says the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. So the blessing is a maker. Can you please spare me the details of who doesn't like you? Spare me the details of what you didn't have last year. Spare me the details of how you have suffered. Spare me the details of where you even come from in the village. What I know is this. When a man contacts the blessing, the blessing can make that man. It is the blessing that makes it rich. Am I helping somebody here? Amen. Amen. So 2021, yes, you didn't, you don't have a university degree, doesn't matter, you will still be made. Amen. 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 You don't have any political affiliation, but you will still be made. Because Hallelujah. It's greater than Amen. any political machinery. Hallelujah. Is greater than any any appointment. What is on you is greater Amen. than any degree. Here is Amen. your prophecy. One person that will hijack this prophecy, you shall manifest it. Take Amen. 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 I hijacked it in Jesus' name. Yes. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich. And he added no sorrow to it. Let me show you. Some of you, you don't even know the depth of what I'm talking to you about. You will soon know. You will soon know because many times we walk with the consciousness that God, God will bless us, but not now. God will promote us, but not now. Let me show you Psalm 105. Psalm 105. No, let's do Psalm 115. I beg your pardon. Psalm 115. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Psalm 115 from verse 12. Psalm 115 and verse 12. We'll do from verse 12 to 15. <laughs> oh, this is good. Watch this. Psalm 115 from verse 12. We'll do from verse 12 to 15. He says, the Lord has been mindful of us. Did you see that one, guys? The Lord has been what? Mindful. Mindful of us. Now, 
Now, this is the literal explanation of a favored man. A favored man is the man that God is mindful of. Mindful. Mindful. That means that you occupy every space in the mind of God. Are you listening to me, guys? Amen. You, you have heard preachers preach, especially my Nigerian friend who preach a message, you call it uh, the remembrance of God, and you say, may God remember you. But today we are moving to a deeper dimension. It, God will not forget me later, so I don't need him to remember me. I am, I am constantly on his mind. Okay? Nathaniel Bassi says that I am the thought that fills his heart every night, every noon, and every day. And this is a scripture to it. The Lord has been mindful of us. And when God is mindful of you, this is the ripple effect. He says, he will bless us. Did you see that? Now, if you have been a writer or of any spiritual material, you would discover the labor writers go through when they are trying to articulate spiritual experiences. Okay, so the writer says that he will bless us and then he uses a punctuation semicolon and then he says he will bless the house of Israel. So the Lord will not just bless you, the Lord will bless your house. Do you know what I'm trying to say? He will bless your house. He will bless your daughter. He will bless your son. Whatever is a house to you, he will bless it. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, hear me as I talk to you. Uh, hear me as I, as I yap to you. He says he will bless the house of Israel. He says he will bless the house of Aaron. Then he says in verse 13, he will bless those who fear him both small and great. And so as young as you are, receive that blessing. Receive I that blessing. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it. I receive it. Lift up another prayer. I receive my father, I my father. In every my father, my mother, my mother. and in every day of 2021, Lord, in every God, day, be in every day of 2021, Lord, be my in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the of Oh, God, in Every day of the day, be mindful of the Lord. Be mindful of the Lord. Be empower me, O God. Amen. Amen. How did you get the result? How Amen. did you get the promotion? How did you, how did you travel? How? Because you see, they will wonder in their minds why you are literally exempted from the 
from the from the from the projections that Satan has thrown into this year, and they will just wonder what is your secret, my Father, my God. Forty-six people on this call that would type, "Amen." I declare, let there be a wonder in 2021. A wonder, Amen. Let there be an amazement to I'm the an amazement to their family, an amazement <coughs> to the, their colleagues. And I'm yes, to the people around them in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank Amen. you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I last but one scripture. Psalm 105. Psalm 105. Psalm 105. Psalm 105. I told you that you need, you need four instruments to cross over. And I told you the first instrument is the prophetic wing. The second feature is covenant. Somebody say covenant. 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 Yes. Covenant. Covenant. Let me tell you guys. Those of you who love to read, try and get a book, a, a book from uh, Ellen J. White. Okay, and, and read. I read another book. I think it's a Nigerian author. I've forgotten his name. But the, the title is Occultic Grandmaster Now in Christ. I don't know who, whoever has chanced on that book. Yeah. Occultic Grandmaster Now in Christ. The, the guy was a grandmaster in the occultic world. Actually, he was the fourth in the hierarchy of Satan. The guy was a grandmaster. And in the era of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa, um, they projected a lot of attacks on him and it didn't work. So it was through one of those attacks that he encountered Jesus and gave his life, his life to the Lord. And then he, he wrote the book. And he, 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 he shared a very important concept. You see, what they do is that in the beginning or before the beginning of every year, what they do is that they do blood service. They do what? Blood service. They do blood, blood, service. blood, blood service. Okay. Now, the blood service is, a, is an intentional covenant. It is an intentional covenant of, number one, fortification. So they would drink blood to fortify themselves. Number two, they will drink blood to affirm their place in the kingdom of darkness. Okay? Number three, they will drink blood to exempt, exempt them from any other forces that will fight them in the course of the year. Now, when I read the account of what they do, and I just oppose it with the things I've seen in the scriptures. I realized, ladies and gentlemen, that for a believer to have a sound year, that believer must consciously enter into a covenant or you have to validate your covenant stance with God. Amen. 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 Are you sure you are here? Mm. Yes. 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 Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Psalm 33. Just a minute. Let me show you something. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. It's here. It's here. Actually, it's Psalm 25. I beg your pardon. Psalm 25, verse 14. Psalm 25 and verse number 14, quickly. Psalm 25, verse number 14. You better hear me. You bet if you if you are very serious with your destiny, you better hear me. You better hear me. Psalm 25 and verse number 14. Psalm 25, verse number 14. He says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Then he said, He will show them his covenant. Listen, God has secrets. It is the secrets of the Lord in this year that will give you access to realms of breakthroughs. 
but Amen. he will only show it to people he will show it to people who are in a covenant with with him Amen. All right, all right. Be wishy washy with God. Don't be wishy washy with God. Mm. Don't be wishy washy with God. Seize this today and the next three days of this year. Seize it and deepen, validate, affirm your covenant with God. Listen, Jesus. if any prophet tells you this year people will not die, he's not a prophet. People will die this year. If anybody tells you this year people not lose their job, he's a false prophet. This year people lose their job. But what is the exemption? The exemption is that you are in a covenant. Oh, I don't know if I'm helping somebody here. Yes. yes. Okay, let's do Psalm 105. Psalm 105 and then. Oh, glory to God. I can't believe I have 15 more minutes. Jesus. <laughs> hey, my Holy Ghost, help me. Someone Pastor Faith and Stella Gara praying that God let the prophet prolong the time. We have interceded. <laughs> the Lord. I, hear I hear you. Psalm 105, 7, from verse 7 to verse 15. And I'm just going to read it. Oh, you will love it. You will love it. Psalm 105, verse 7 to 15. You will love it. Sometimes it breaks my heart. New Year, people are eating chicken. People are eating uh, steak. People are eating KFC. Yes, it's good to eat. But be in a covenant before you start eating. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Listen, guys. Before I, even, before I even go ahead of myself, this year I will stretch a lot of you because this year we will do 21 days fasting on this call. 21 days fasting. This year. Let's do it. And let me see, and let me see anyone who, who will go and eat within that 21. As we are doing the Zoom call, you'll be vomiting chapati. <laughs> Life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay. Amen. <laughs> Let me read Psalm 105 from verse 7. And guys, I want you to listen carefully. He says, He is the Lord our God. His judgments are all, His judgments are all in the earth. Then he says, He had remembered His covenant forever, the word which He commanded to us a thousand generations. Watch this now. He says that the Lord has remembered His covenant forever. So the God you are serving is a God who remembers covenant. What does he remember? Your first name? No. Your third name? No. The name of your grandparents? No. What does he remember? He remembers covenant. Don't ever forget it. He remembers covenant. What does it mean? He is conscious of covenant. In fact, covenant is what regulates his, his, his acts. Can I say it again? Covenant is what regulates his acts. The other day, Solomon sinned against the Lord, and the Lord wanted to slap the hell out of Solomon. He lifted up his rod. He said, Solomon, Solomon, if not for your, for, if not for your father, David. Why? Because God had cut a covenant with David. All right? So your exemptions from plague, your exemptions from the catastrophe of this year, your exemptions from satanic projections, demonic machinations, is on the premise of covenant. Somebody shout covenant, 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 covenant. Covenant, 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 covenant. Conscious of it. You should be conscious of it. He says that the Lord hath remembered his covenant forever. He says the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Then he says in verse 9, which covenant he made with Abraham. So God made a covenant with Abraham. Then he says that, and his oath unto Isaac, he rehearsed the covenant he made to Abraham, to Isaac, the son of Abraham, and then it became an oath. Then verse 10 says that, and he confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to the children of Israel for an everlasting covenant. Verse 11 is my emphasis. He says, saying, unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. So watch this. Your inheritance this year is on the platform of covenant. Am I boring Amen. you guys? Amen. You have to listen to me. 
your lot this year, your inheritance this year, your goodies this year, you, you have to secure it with a covenant. Amen. Amen. So this year, don't pray those, those shakara vague, vague prayers. God bless me. God, no, no. You, this year, be specific with your request. Lord, a tall, handsome dude with six packs who loves Jesus and speaks Hallelujah. in the Holy Ghost and loves him somebody who is well to do because lord i am not ready i've suffered enough i'm not ready to bear with somebody who is beginning life holy ghost my father <laughs> okay but i'm just telling you guys be specific be specific amen don't say look this year i want to travel what if he takes you to afghanistan <laughs> or he takes you to syria <laughs> Somalia, Somalia, <laughs> so specific. Be specific. Uh, be specific. His text says, "Here I come." London, here I come. Dubai, here I come. Don't go and pray this shakara prayer, Father. Bless me, bless me, bless me. What are you talking about? So, verse 11 talks about it. Then verse 12 says that when they were, when they were but a few men in number, yea, when they were very few and strangers in it, verse 13, when they went from one nation to another, from one to another, he suffered no man to do them harm. It was a covenant that exempted the truth. Come on, guys, think about it. The children of Israel were very few. They were few. Yet every nation they met, they conquered. Oh, guys, you are not helping me. Are you nodding? Jesus. Every nation, yeah. every nation they came across, they conquered. Why? Because they were covenant people. Listen. Listen. Before you think of complaining, I want you to walk every day of this year with the consciousness that you are a covenant child. In fact, start Amen. realizing it now. Type, I'm a covenant. I am a covenant child. Yeah. At your workplace, the consciousness of the covenant will work for you. Are you listening to me? And as a covenant child, you don't go down. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. As a covenant mm -hmm. child, you don't bow. Amen. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the strange land of Babylon, and then they were compelled to bow. They said, No, 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 we, we, we are the seed of Abraham. We don't bow. And check, Selagara, check these Israelis and check these Jewish guys. If you do business with them, they flourish. You know why? Because they are. So conscious of the covenant God made with your fathers. That's true. You don't go down. Be conscious of it. And watch this. This is what I love. He said that they saw John from one wilderness to the other, meeting one kingdom to another. God said he suffered no man to do them harm. You know why? Because they were covenant people. 2021. God will suffer no man to do you harm. He will Amen. suffer no violence. Amen. He will suffer no plague to do you harm. Amen. He will suffer no harm to do you harm. In the name of the Amen. Lord Jesus. Listen, the, listen to the colloquial Amen. English. The colloquial English says, he suffered no man to do them harm. That means that if a man wanted to do them harm, that man was the one that suffered. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> so that boy that is molesting your life, he will suffer. Amen. That one Amen. that is sitting on promotion, we roast his ass. Hey, Jesus, I'm, I'm Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We roast that person Amen. who say you cannot marry. We roast them alive. We roast them alive. We roast them alive. Amen. 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 Amen.
Oh, oh yes, yes. we've lost them alive. Amen. There is something on this call. The Lord says that after this call yes. on Monday, go for your appointment letter. Go for your appointment letter. The Lord says, tell somebody on this call, Monday, go for your appointment letter. Go for your appointment letter. Go for your appointment mm -hmm. letter. There is somebody you have an interview. The Lord is saying that that job has been released. That job has been released to you. Go for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he suffered no man to do them. Now this is the technology you are going to do. If you have your communion one, can you lift it up? If you have it. If you have it. If you don't have it, just look for some juice, orange juice. But don't go and look for beer. We will roast you if you look for beer. <laughs> All right, Pastor Faith, I can't see your your wine. Please, if you don't have it, look for water. Okay, yes, okay, Pastor Faith, I've seen it. Okay, now I'm going to say something. You will say it after me. Say in my hands. In my hands. Hands. Is the token of my covenant. Is the token, is the token, of, the token of, my of my covenant. Even the blood of Jesus. Even the, Even the, the, blood, of the Jesus. blood of Jesus. I receive it with thanksgiving. I receive, I receive, I receive it, it with thanksgiving. The cup of blessing which I bless. The cup of blessing which I bless. I bless. Is the blood of Jesus. Is the blood of Jesus. It is the blood of Jesus. I partake of this blood. I partake of this blood. Of this blood. To affirm my place in his kingdom. To, to, to affirm my, my place, place, in his his place in his kingdom. And to be fortified for the year. And, and to be fortified for the year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And as I drink the blood. And as, and as I drink the blood, I compel the hand of God against my enemies. I compel the hand of God against my enemies. I compel the hand of God against my enemies. I compel the hand of God against my enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Drink it. Drink it. We compel the hand of God against our enemies. If you can stretch your hands like this on the street, stretch your hands. Let me connect with you now. Father, by the mysterious power in the blood, I activate the voice of God. Amen. The Bible said the shout of the king is in the camp. Oh, yes. Every day of 2021, yes. I declare, yes. let the blood speak. Amen. Let the blood speak. Amen. Let the blood speak. Amen. Over every area of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the blood, I usher you to the realms of your inheritance. Amen. I usher you to the place of your possessions. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare by reason of this blood, you are empowered and fortified. Amen. You are empowered. And fortified. 
You are empowered and fortified. You are empowered and fortified. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for somebody here today that because of your connection to oh, yes. the grace of God of my life, may you never see disappointment and shame. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. If you if you are ready, shout I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready. ready. So Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 24 says, and concerning Asha, he said, Asha, be favored amongst your brethren. Let him dip his feet in oil. Uh -huh. mm. Ladies and gentlemen, at Gloryland Embassy, last night, mm. every one of my members was ushered into this realm of possession. Jesus. When you dip mm. your feet in oil, Habakkuk chapter 3 says that he will cause you to walk on your high places. So Amen. this year, Jesus. get ready. Some of you will dine with presidents. Amen. Some of you will the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 This year, you will, you will tread the corridors of power and the corridors of greatness Amen. because oil is at your feet. Amen. Amen. Number two, he said that he will make my feet like hinds feet. That means that by this oil, supernatural speed is coming to you. Amen. Amen. Whatever you could accomplish within the last 10 years, last 20 years, get ready. Within 2021, supernatural speed and acceleration is coming upon you. Supernatural and financial accomplishment. Amen. Jesus name. Be very serious. Be very serious. Be very serious. I am very serious with it. God is going to change situations dramatically. Amen. Amen. Lift this. Lift this. Father. 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 Of heaven. Of heaven. Within the assembly of the watches, and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that let this oil be infused with grace. Oh, it is grace that makes men, it is grace that makes men, it is grace that makes men. Amen. Let this oil be infused with grace. The grace that makes men living legends. The grace that makes men icons. The grace that makes men powerful figures. Let that grace be infused in this oil. And as this oil touches the feet of everyone on this call, 45 people on this call, I declare, turn their lives around for good. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. Because Amen. Of time, because of time, because we have another service now. We are, we are, we have another service now. Because of time, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. When we close this broadcast, you are going to anoint your feet. Hear this. This is what you do. Pour the oil in a in a basin, okay, and then sit down and dip your two feet into the oil. You can do it for your children, do it for your husband, that your Shakara husband, do it for him. All right? And when you do it, you will shout, you will pray that supernatural speed and I walk on my high places. Am I talking to somebody here? If you, if you got the instruction, type I receive. Type I receive. So I know that you got I it. receive. Good. Now, this is the last thing. You have your honey. Oh, yeah. You have honey. If you have a honey, 
I pray over your honey in the name of the Lord Jesus that as honey tastes sweet, so will you hear sweet news beginning mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. till the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' mighty name, I Amen. call it that. Amen. Amen. All right. So this is what you also do. When you finish anointing your feet, okay, you will taste the honey, give some to your husband, give some to your children. And when you do that, you say, this year, I will hear sweet news. New that will gladden my heart. New that will bless my life. New that will bring dancing to my feet and rejoicing to my heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now listen to, listen to this. By these prophetic tokens, I declare, just as the Lord whispered to me, 2021 is your year of great glory. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. You will not just experience glory, you experience great glory. Great, great, glory. Glory. great glory. You would do magnificent things this year. Amen. You see, things that will cause men to, to drop their jaws. Amen. Things Amen. that will blow their minds. Because the sight of the things you do will be so huge and magnificent. Amen. Amen. The Lord says it's a year of great glory. Amen. Receive it. I, I receive it. Jesus. I receive it. Hallelujah. The last thing. When I was praying for you yesterday before I gave the breaking news, I was in prayer. The Lord says that I should tell three people, sorry, I should tell 30 people, 30 people, 30 people that in 2021, you are going to seize your financial fortunes. Now, we did it here in Gloryland Embassy, and I want to recommend it to you. Look for the seed of this year. So in your currency, you can do 2,000. For, for those of you in South Africa, this is your instruction. Do a seed of 2,021 rands. In Kozi, can you hear me? Prophet, yes, I can hear you, sir. Yes, do a seed of 2,021 rand. 2,021 rand. Yes, perfect. Those of you in Canada, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. Perfect, perfect. You would do, you would do the seed in Ghana cities. If I tell you to do that 2,000 in, in, in uh, Canadian dollars, you will collapse on this call and I can't resurrect you. <laughs> So don't do it in dollars. Don't do it in dollars. Do it in CDs. So convert your team in CDs, all right, and do it. Pastor Faith, can you advise us on, on what to do? Because I'm thinking that the shillings, 2,000 something shillings, is not a sacrifice. Can you advise us? Uh, for 10,000? No, for this year, this year. Okay. I'm saying to, I'm saying to the people in South Africa, they should do 2021. That is 2021. Those of them in, okay. in Canada today, they that is do that and convert. That, that's how much in dollars? It's twenty thousand Kenya shillings. Oh, that's twenty thousand in. Okay. Yeah. Th so then twenty thousand Kenya just, shillings is fine. Stella, 20,000 Kenya yeah. shilling is fine, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It okay. is. Okay, okay, so, so you also it, do... 20, we need to 20,210. Yes, yes. Okay. So Stella, you, okay. Stella, you okay. say it, say it, say it, say it well. Quote the figure well. 20,210 Kenya shillings. Good, mm. so do that. 20,000 what, uh, what about Kenyan shillings? That is your covenant seed. Covenant seed. Sandra K. Sandra K, are you on the call? I saw Sandra K. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Sandra K, and those of you in the US also, if I tell you guys to do that thing in, in dollars, maybe you may have to roast me. So do it and convert it to Ghana cities, all right? 2021 Ghana cities. Listen, guys, 
this is your, we did it here in our church. Okay. And I have personally released my seed to my spiritual covering. It is so important. It is so vital. It is so crucial. Release that seed and hijack your financial fortunes this year. So that this year you always have a reference for which God will actually do a work of miracle in your finances. Do that and your life will never be the same. All right? Amen. Do you have any questions? Amen. I have a question. Do you have any questions? I have a okay, question. Dennis, ask your question. Do we have a time limit to contribute that amount or is by the end of the month? In fact, in fact, what I, this is my prophetic, this is my prophetic understanding. When you have it, release it. Okay. But if you don't have it, you can give yourself two weeks or one month, release it. Don't let it cross to ne next month. Because by the time it crosses to next month, it, it will, okay, you are nodding, so you understand it already. So Dennis, do, do it. If you have it, release it. If you, if you can give yourself up to two weeks, one month, release it, all right? And tie your, tie your faith around it, and your life okay. will never be the same. Okay. Any questions? Thank you. Dominic, are we standing on a particular scripture with this seed? Or yes, we are standing on a particular. We are standing on a partic particular scripture. We are standing on Psalm one o five. Okay. We are standing on Psalm one o five, verse seven to fifteen. Psalm one o five. Psalm one o five, verse seven to fifteen. Psalm 105, verse 7 to 15. That is the covenant terms and conditions that God gave the children of Israel. And that is what we are appropriating same in our lives. That 2021, he will suffer no man to do us hurt. That in 2021, our inheritance is preserved for us. Please do it and you'll be glad you did because a lot of testimonies will come up when this is done. Amen. Anyone has any more questions? Okay, now let me release you. I want you to remember. Yes, yes, somebody has a question. Please kindly repeat the instructions on the oil, please. Yes, so on the oil, after the call, just Hello? get a basin or just get a bowl a bowl and pour the oil in it and then sit down and dip your two feet your feet into the oil the scripture for this direction is deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23 and 24 deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23 and 24 you will, you will confess that scripture you will pray that scripture. You declare those scriptures and then you dip your feet in the oil and then you pray. Do same for your children. Do same for your entire family. All right? In our church in Gloryland, we did it for everybody, including the children. We did it for them. Even if you gave birth yesterday, do it for that child. Okay? And your life will never be the same. Deuteronomy 33 verses. I missed that. What was Say that again. Verse? I missed the verse. De De Deuteronomy 33. Deuteronomy, yes, 33, verse 23 and 24. Okay, all right, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, Stella, Stella is a problem. Yes, Stella, it's fine. DS can work. DS can work because it's in, it's in RAND. It's, it's still fine. It can work for them. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Okay. So, so the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you guys. I'm sorry I have to leave you because we have a meeting now. These guys are already sucking me out of this place. So I'm just going to leave you. But just do what I've asked you to do. Please, if you have any food, eat it. Eat it. Because from the 14th, when we will come back, we are going to start our 21-day fast. <laughs> so if you have any food, go ahead and eat uh, on the 14th. It's going to be powerful. All right. The Lord bless you guys. The Lord keep you. And Happy New Year. This year, I want to read your testimonies. 
The Lord Amen. love you. Amen. Amen. Love you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you too. God bless you too.